I am Dr. Deepak Kumar, Consultant Physician from PK Hospital, Tambaram. Uh, today we will be uh, discussing about uh, dengue fever and this and this infection. So as the monsoon seasons are uh, coming up, there can, there will be more incidence of dengue infection in the preceding months. So what is so today? I will be telling about what is dengue fever and uh, how it how it occurs and uh, what are these features and how to avoid it. So uh, dengue fever is caused by dengue virus which is uh, spread by a mosquito called Aedes mosquito. The speciality of this mosquito is that it uh, breeds in clear, uh, clean uh, stagnant water and also it is predominantly a day biting mosquito. So this Aedes mosquito will inject the virus into the human body. So how this uh, virus causes infection and uh, how the virus is, uh, mostly the virus will cause multiple complications in the body uh, which will lead to the, all the problems. The major organs will be affected are like uh, mostly uh, brain uh, and the blood system and the liver. So when the mosquito bites, uh, after a period of few days, the infection spreads in the body. So this period is called the incubation period which is around approximately uh, 4 to 6 days. So the overall dengue virus infection has been divided into uh, three parts or three phases they call it. One is uh, the febrile phase, the critical phase and the recovery phase. So the febrile phase is a period uh, which occurs about uh, 2 to 4 days after the incubation period. So it is during this phase that uh, the patient will present to us with uh, fever, myalgia, that is muscle pain, arthralgia, that is joint pain and the predominant uh, uh, specific symptom will be retroorbital pain, that is pain will be behind the eyes, that will be very uh, pricking type of pain behind the eyes associated with bleeding manifestations. Bleeding manifestations means uh, there will be some hemorrhagic uh, spots which is predominantly seen in the lower, uh, near the anthem. So with this, is, with this the patient will present to us. So uh, during this period symptomatic measures are mostly uh, important uh, like uh, giving proper fluids and uh, monitoring. So the next phase is the critical phase which we are all worried about. So it is, we always say that uh, platelets go down in dengue and uh, this is during, this occurs during the critical phase. So th during the critical phase platelets, that is a white blood which we call in uh, local uh, language uh, comes down and there will be increase in hematocrit. Hematocrit is uh, the overall red cell uh, volume. So hematocrit will increase and the speciality of this uh, dengue virus is that it will attack the blood vessels. So the blood vessels will get uh, disrupted and there will be leakage uh, that we call in uh, medical term as capillary leakage due to which all the fluid from the blood vessels will leak into the third space. So third space is nothing but uh, the space around the lungs, the space around the heart, the space around the stomach and uh, the abdomen areas. So what happens when this fluid uh, which uh, leaks from the blood vessels goes into the third space, there will be fall in BP. When there is a fall in BP, always blood supply to the major organs like brain uh, or the liver and lungs, everything will come, come down. So this will lead to a term called shock. So, the main aim of uh, treatment of dengue is to avoid impending shock and uh, we should not allow the shock to occur. So next phase is called the recovery phase which occurs around uh, 4 to 5 days after the critical phase during which period the BP improves, the patient symptomatically improves and the hemoglobin also comes down to normal. So our concern is uh, when to go to the doctor, when to go to the hospital uh, for proper treatment. So one is, uh, it has been divided, it has been said that there are certain warning signs which uh, a patient or the layman should know. So these are fever uh, around temperature of 102 to 103 degree Fahrenheit along with uh, severe myalgia that is severe muscle pain along with retroorbital eye pain associated with persistent vomiting or weakness, lethargy, irritability and also there is a call, uh, term called encephalopathy where the patient will be obtended in the sense they will be drowsy. So all these are uh, and also mucosal bleed means bleeding will not only bleeding may occur during or uh, while passing uh, motions or passing urine or even while normal brushing. So these are the warning signs that every layman should know before, uh, uh, so that he can come to the hospital in the earlier uh, and can be managed properly. So dengue virus is also like, it is like a uh, viral infection, just like a normal common cold, it will persist for 8 days. But it is only during these 8 days that complications occur which have to be uh, controlled or uh, can be avoided by appropriate treatment. So how to avoid uh, the occurrence of dengue infection itself? So the dengue's main vector is that is the mosquito. 
So we will have to avoid the breeding sites for mosquito in and around the house. Clean all, uh, keep uh, everything, keep uh, stagnant water and also uh, unnecessary water uh, stagnation around the house by giving proper uh, disinfectants. And also you can avoid personally by uh, wearing protective clothing and also protecting yourself by using mosquito repellents or bed nets. So this is all about dengue infection. And uh, so it is always necessary to know the warning signs before uh, presenting uh, so that we can uh, adequately control and doctor can also uh, will be able to manage properly before any further complications arises.